Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Edward White and in this video today we're going to talk about how you can make your workspace more productive. Start clean. First things first, you want to start with a clean area. Make sure that your workspace is clean, that you tidied everything away at the end of the night. You've put your notepad away, you've, you've made sure your pen's in its right place. Just a clean house. If you have a clean house, you'll feel more motivated to work and you'll feel more motivated to just sit down and do the work. I know it sounds really sort of trivial, but honestly, if you can have an area that you know is nice and clean, ready to work, you'll just feel more motivated. There's nothing worse than trying to find a pen, your headphones because you want to do an edit or whatever it is. Make sure that you've got a place for everything. And this, this applies to having a place for the camera where your wires are to charge up certain things. It's really, really beneficial. And I can't stress how much time you will save just by knowing where everything is and having a set place for it. Make sure that you have a place. Build this out, whether it's you've got a certain drawer for certain things, you've got a certain cupboard for keeping stuff in, your wire and whatever lives in a certain place. So for example, my wallet lives right under the desk on the racking. I know where this is, I can just reach my hand and grab it every time I wanna go out and it makes my life simpler. That's the essence of it really, is you wanna make your life simpler. How can you do it that for your area? Whatever it is for you, make sure that everything has its own. Having a set area for your task. Whether it's you have an area to record videos and that's almost set up ready to go. So for me, that looks like having a wire connected to my screen, which is right here. I can see myself on the screen by having picture by picture. If I have notes on the video, I can see it on here. I've got a big light right up there, which is shining on my face. So if you see that, you can see the light coming from there. You can see the shadow on my face. That's set up ready to go with a fixture. I just need to plug it in, turn it on and make sure the light looks all right. I like to have an area that I can work, which is here with the books in the background. Um, this is sort of my work area with the, the chalkboard wall and stuff. And then I like to have a relaxing area. So I won't ever do work. I won't ever take my laptop and do work on the sofa or on the dining room table. I just find, or in the bed, that's one really important area, is having set areas for doing certain things. So I actually have positions on my sofa if depending on if I'm watching TV or if I'm reading a book. If I'm reading a book, I'm facing a certain way and if I'm watching TV, I'm facing a, another way. And I don't know what this is, but psychologically, it really helps me to get in the mood of what I want to be doing. So if I want to be watching TV and watching Netflix, and I can, and I'm really focused, and if I want to be reading books, then that's what I'm doing and I'm in a certain way. I don't know why this works, but it just seems to work. So think about that. How can you develop areas in your life that has a set purpose. So, I don't know, you've got a reading chair, you've got a, a working chair, you've got a YouTube space, you've got wherever it is for you, think about that and try to implement it in your life. This might not always be possible, you might not have the space, but maybe you've got a room and you could set a certain area of the room where you do certain tasks. This will just help you to separate and cut compartmentalize, that's a big word, compartmentalize the areas of your life so that you can focus on the things that you need to focus on when it's in a specific area. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Those are my three tips to have a more productive working area. Consider subscribing down below. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.